What's going on Facebook and YouTube? Saludos a la gente de Facebook and the YouTube. So right now we're in Ballinger, Texas and we're actually on the road that takes you to the cross. Before we begin, I got my brother Nacho and my friend Ernest in the back. Um, so Ernest, what can you tell me about the cross, man? Like, what does it mean to the people of Ballinger? Uh, well, actually, I got a friend named Justin Good. Her grandfather actually built the cross. Um, and he pretty much built it for, you know, for the people of Ballinger. Um, you know, if you're losing hope or anything, he built it pretty much for you just to come out here and to pray. I mean, pray to God. Just always know that Jesus is on your side no matter what. So if you're having a bad day, bad day at work, or even just a bad day, you can come up here, you can pray. I mean, it's a really peaceful place. So, plus a lot of people around uh, Texas actually come over here to check it out. I mean, I was here one day and there's a guy from Dallas. He came all the way from Dallas to Ballinger just to look at the cross because it's pretty, it's a really neat place. So, I mean, if you're ever in Ballinger, Texas, y'all come check it out, so. So, so the cross to the bat to people of Ballinger, it means hope, faith, but most of all, Christ, right? Yes, sir. You know, uh, we have to, we have to remember what Christ did for us on the cross. You know, Isaiah, I believe it's 53, five, you know, by his wounds, we are healed. So, you know, it's amazing, dude. Like, I, I think I've been out here once or twice, but I've never decided to do a video. So today, we're actually gonna do just that. We're gonna show y'all a video of the cross. I'm gonna have my man, Ernest, uh, you know, he's gonna be directing on the back, on the back end of the video, and uh, hope y'all like it. their story and you know it's just it's beautiful knowing that you know that people actually take their time to come in here and you know to write something to the Lord you know there's like three journals right here but you know I don't know which they're pretty much all filled with just thank yous and you know prayer requests and you know wow you know this one dates back to you know 2019 August 1st of 2019 so I mean it's, books. <laughs> it, it, it's been here for a while and it's just it's amazing to you know that we've actually had something like this here in Ballinger so you said that you and your wife thought about this in 
I love the mountains. She says, every morning I would get up and I look out and I see the mountains. And she says, you move to Ballinger. And he says, no, this cross is my mountain. She looks out the cross every morning. see until the next day as far as being erected because by the time we left here it was dark and, and the next morning I got up and drove into town and, oh my lord I couldn't believe how, <laughs> how it lit up the landscape you might say from uh, coming up from town and uh, a lot of people came out during the time we erected it just to be here to be here when we just put it up uh, we got some a lot of people in the paper and newspaper and whatnot. There's a gentleman came down from Groom, Texas. That's about it. here. And he said that he was a real artist of all these in the world. And he wants all this in the paper. He wants to build the crosses. So he built a 300 foot cross. He's not going to see this in his history. But his was, doesn't have this, but he told me what this was. He was an engineer. peak and went to the bottom would be a pyramid, but when it's everything's cut off, like this is cut off at the bottom, and the top, he says it's a frustrus. So we're standing on a, underneath a frustrus. I never knew what it I have not even looked up to see what the, how you spell it or whatever it is, but he said it's called a frustrus. But we, it also serves as a, an ideal tent or cover during rain, uh, wind, whatever. Uh, we've had many wedding, weddings up here.
Anyhow, that's uh, you know actually I, I think we're there. We're starting out at a forty foot road across. We, my mother was living in Florida at this time, and uh, I went down on vacation. With my son-in-law down there. We were going to trim the fruit trees in the back of the house. Cents a pound, and uh, they were, anyhow, it worked out again. God wanted me to want to do it, and He helped me out all the way along. You know, with no problem. And uh, uh, we had it built, and everything went well. And as I said earlier, the gentleman built a 300 foot cross. He called me one night. He lived in Groom, Texas. The population of Groom was 600 people. He says, Jim, he says, Did the devil fight you? over four beams that are already in the concrete. And I picked it up and the crane set it down. And it had a quarter inch clearance on each one of these. So that was four of them. And those beams slipped down the way over before they were rolling in the concrete. So I mean, again, the Lord wanted this for us to And so it's uh, stuff like that you that you want to know. I hope that you like the interview and um, my friend here is named Jim Stuter. 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 And uh, he's actually the guy who, like he was saying, he's actually the guy that helped build the cross. You know, he designed it from, you know, top to bottom and got an uh, engineer out here. And, you know, it's thanks to him that, you know, now uh, the people of Ballinger have a place where they can come to and, you know, and just think of the marvelous and beautiful things that you know God has done in their lives and you know just if you're looking if you're struggling with your faith you know just come on out here and just write something on, on the book you know they got the journals and you know this represents faith hope and love and you know everything that the Lord is you know promises us which he promises us you know that he'll be faithful to us if we're faithful to him he promises to give us hope and you know 
can find it. But most of all, and, and this is the number one thing, is that he promises us love, never ending love. And this is one of the things that I like about it. Like, the first time I came out here, I thought it was awesome. I just, I never thought of making a video until now. And we didn't ever plan for this. Like, we just, we were gonna come up here and just shoot. And, you know, when we were talking about it this morning, you know, Ernest was telling me, like, yeah, you know, my friend's grandpa built it. And, you know, to have the man himself that actually helped build, you know, the cross, the, I guess you would call it the Ballinger Cross, is what you would call it? Sure, yes. You know, it's the Ballinger Cross. The Ballinger Cross, and it's out here in Ballinger, Texas. Um, at the end of the video, I will put the, uh, the coordinates and all that stuff, so that way, you know, whoever watches this video, if you're ever down in Ballinger, Texas, come visit the cross. All right, so we just got back from the cross. We uh, are now leaving Stripes. We, you know, we had to, you know, uh, put some something in us, right? Like, you know, an awesome drink. I'm drinking a Mountain Dew, and my brother is drinking a vitamin water, and, you know, Ernest is drinking a Mountain Dew as well. So, Ernest, what did you think, man, like, you know, to actually have the actual guy who who built it? Man, I think it was, it was awesome. I mean, it was really cool. He was such a, a great man himself. I mean, his... Uh, Jim Struder, I want to say, or Studer, but um, just talking to him, I mean, he was such a great guy, and he said he actually built the cross for everyone, no matter what religion you believe in or what, I mean, you can go to the Ballinger Cross and pray, and um, they have books where you can leave, you know, I mean, if you want to say a prayer or leave your thoughts about it, but I mean, it's such an amazing place to go to, I mean, he even said, um, that he was up there one time at late at night. Yeah, he was and, like at yeah. 11 o'clock and people yeah, were going people in. were going over there to pray. So, I mean, whenever you get a chance, if you're in Ballinger, Texas, I highly recommend y'all to check it out. So, man, I think it was just, like, for me, the fact that he was willing to take on something, you know, and build something for God that represents God. Like, you know, the cross represents, like, you know, the pain and suffering that he took and, you know, but it also, it, um, it also represents the the beauty in Christ, the way that you know that He did it. Everything everything had a purpose. You know, it had a purpose for why we're here. And man, it's it's just it was awesome to just talk to him. It was actually uh, very inspirational to us to have him tell us the story about how it all started. And you know, it was just just beautiful. It, it was a beautiful day to day, very productive. And, uh, you know, we'll see y'all again soon. And uh, we're going to try to, I think you said there's one in Cristobal, right? Yes. We're going to try, we're, we're going to try to hit up the one in Cristobal, Texas. And hopefully we're all able to go out there and, you know, make a video as well. So I'll see you guys later.